Today we're going to be learning how to make this kind of tree. So, as you can see, this is just kind of a acacia wood and weeping vines. So, my recommendation would be just grab a stack of um, each of these, and you're going to want some dead horn coral fins to add some texture to the wood. So, the main thing I like to do first is just go up a good height, like this one over here, I went up, see, five blocks, which is normally a pretty good height for trees, so I think that's five blocks, yep. So once you've kind of gone up to the height you want, you want to start fairly low and just start adding things coming out, make some go straight out. Maybe this one will be, um, let's see, I'll let that one go diagonally. Actually, why don't we make that one go out like that? I think I'll pop those up there a little bit. You don't want them to go up. If they always go straight out or, like, this one kind of goes out in curves, if they always go in a straight line, it won't look that realistic. So this, this tree is just supposed to look otherworldly, so I mean, you could even use this on a different like planet kind of build. There, there's honestly a lot of uses for this specific tree design. So once you have all of your, um, all of these kind of set up around, I'm going to move that over there and give us a nice straight out one. We're actually going to go up a little bit, oh, I'm going to go straight out. and. I think we're kind of out of space to put more. So now it looks pretty bare. I mean, that's kind of spooky on its own. But you want to have some of these vines hanging down. Choose a couple spots and have them go all the way to the bottom. Like, um, here, here's some, and then have to start adding a couple that don't go all the way down. So. Maybe this, that one, you could probably make all the, go all the way down. This one has nothing. Uh, maybe like two. Let's make two again. Maybe three right here. And then, um, breaking out these. It's a lot of trial and error. So I thought I might bring that one up and bring it down even more. And then break that one because that one doesn't look great. You don't want to oversaturate it with these, though. You do want to add a lot, though. Because th this is the main filler for your tree. So once you you feel confident with how that looks, I probably could add a little bit more. Like this one, I honestly think it looks a little bit better than this design. But you probably just don't you won't, don't want just one. So even if the if one isn't as good as the others, it's fine. So you're gonna want to do what I'm doing right here with the dead horn coral fan. This is the yellow coral. If you were wondering. Um, this this kind. So you just kind of want to place it around. You don't want to have too many straight lines coming off of stuff. Let's see, put a little bit on the side there. There we go. So it's not even on both sides. And just generally add that very spooky, kind of frayed look to the tree. And that's kind of it. To be honest, I think this one is a better example. So if you want to do, if you do want to build one of these trees, just block by block, you can look at these t this design right here. This one is a good filler too. So yeah, just experiment with what kind of um, what kind of uh, branches you want to do, how you want to make these go up and down. Maybe even um, if you want them to stay from growing. Which I'm not 100% sure if these can actually grow in the overworld because I, I haven't really used them in the overworld. But yeah, you can always put string underneath them. Which, from afar, you won't notice it. If you're going to be walking right between them, you probably won't want to put any string there. But, that's the end of this video. Happy Halloween!